This train station has like so much crime. If you go here, you're gonna get mugged. Like, no questions asked, you are just gonna be mugged, 100%. Hey guys, Subaliki here today, and welcome back to Cities Skylines. Today, we are back on the 27 Islands map. It's empty again. Uh, so you can download this map, I'll link it down below. It is a really nice one from the Steam Workshop. Uh, so anyway, last time we built a city that was separated by two islands. Like, we had all industrial over here, and we had all residential and commercial over here. Wait, were these the islands? They don't look familiar. Maybe, what, was it those? Wait, yeah, I guess it must have been. I don't know, it didn't, it didn't look familiar. I guess there's no city on it now. Uh, yeah, we built over here last time. And then there was a suggestion of trying to only connect islands via trains and only getting people to move in via planes. So that means we're not going to have any cargo shipping or anything like that. Uh, we're going to be using trains and all that kind of stuff. Now, again, I do have to use the unlock all mod just to be able to get... Uh, this kind of stuff, because the problem is, I, I even looked into it, I was like, oh, maybe I can do it without unlock all and do it legit. But you don't unlock this category, like, oh, well, you don't unlock public transport to get 1,200 people. And we can't get anyone to move in unless we get a shipping port or an airport, because there's no, there's no roads. So <laughs> we have to do it that way. So anyway, the thing is, we're going to use an airport to get people in. It's going to cost us 4,800 a week, which actually it might be a little less than that, because this is... I think it'll be a little less, because I've, I've already gone ahead and turned down the budget, so hopefully it'll be okay. But what I'm thinking is, we've got three islands here, we might be able to use those, because we're going to try and do people flying in on one island, and then we'll try and do like a residential and commercial island, and probably an industrial one again, and see how we go. I reckon these three. I was going to say maybe like these three, or, or, or something else, but I think these three would be good because it means we can have a rail that sort of goes this way and then back up that way, so we can sort of almost get like a triangle of rail running through this place. Uh, so we'll see what we can do. So we're going to start off with a large road right here. So the thing is, right away we're going to need to build train stations, which are also going to cost me money. So we might have to end up turning <laughs> on unlimited money again. So we need a passenger rail station, so we got one of those, and we're going to need a cargo station as well because we're going to have industrial stuff on other islands. So I think we can go industrial cargo station. What if we just do it opposite? Actually, this is what I've done instead. I've put it behind. So then the rail is next to each other because we'll probably just share one rail line because we're not going to have any regional trains. So the traffic shouldn't be too bad. Or how big is the airport? Okay, the airport's actually not as big as I thought. Maybe we can get it on this island. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know that that's going to be the way we want to use this. <laughs> Okay, that's looking better. It's not exactly the safest runway. I mean, it, I guess it's not that unsafe. You'll just plummet off a cliff on that side, and I guess plummet here and go into the water. Uh, just be careful. So people can come in this way, which is great. Now we just need to build a rail station, and then rail to the other island so that they can get over there. So again, I'm going to consider this like one island, so I'm going to build bridges between these ones. Now, I don't think we're going to need cargo over here, because this is pretty much just going to be the transport island. And this is kind of the thing I came up with. I don't know, I thought it looked kind of cool. It seems unnecessary. Uh, we might even do a pedestrian path over here as well, actually. And then I'm going to use this handy dandy crossing mod to just put a crossing in the road there so people can walk out and actually use it as a crossing so they don't have to walk all the way down there and across. And again, likewise, all my mods and that are going to be linked uh, down below in a Steam Workshop collection. We'll do the same over there. So that means what's probably going to happen, people are going to land, they're going to walk across this bridge, get on a, a train, and then I guess go over there. Now, we have a couple ways to go about this. I almost feel like just building a rail line over the water is going to look really dumb, but then maybe that's the charm of it, you know? <laughs> maybe that's what makes it good. So it comes down like this, nice and gentle all the way along, down, 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 down. Because <laughs> uh, I figured if we could just go along the surface of the water, it might look cool. I uh, hope there's no shipping lines here because they're going to have a tough time. That looks absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> it goes down and up. I mean, I think, it looks, to be honest, I think it'll probably look better than going straight across the top. So it's like, sort of comes down, goes flat, then goes back up. I don't know. We'll see how we go. All right, now let's just get some roads for all the houses that we're going to have out here. Uh, just going to, you know, do some standard roads. I decided to make a smaller one there. I don't know why I'm using such big roads. I feel like, well, I felt like this would have a lot of traffic here, but then I, I don't think it will do. It's pretty small. Okay, so I'm just going to fill in probably as much of this as I can with residential, because that's what it's mostly going to be. So should we do, I guess, we, no, let's, should we just, let's just start off with high density. Let's forget doing low density, because then I'll just have to upgrade it. And we'll probably be fine if we just use high density to start off with is my theory. So we're gonna go straight under the, uh, the railway here. 
That's where the pipe goes, and then that will come up over this side. We'll slurp up some water from over here, and we'll dump the water, and we'll try not make a phallic shape this time like we accidentally did last time. Oops. Oh, why have you built so far away? Why have you built over here? Everything's over that way, you bloody morons. I guess I'll make pretty much this main section. High density commercial, right? We'll just do that and all that. Oh, you know what? Hang on. I haven't set up a train line. I was hoping planes actually bring citizens in. Because I don't know that they do. I know the shipping line does. I guess I'll find out. So I'm going to add a vehicle. One vehicle should be enough. Airport is operating. Will we get any people coming into the city? So far, zero. Oh, there's a cruise ship going by. Look at them go. 608 people! Join my city! Now, I'm wondering if it doesn't recognize that this is connected to the airport. Because it's technically not connected by a road, you know? Let's just test. Okay, it's now connected by a road. Let's see. Doesn't appear that anyone's entering the city. I think we might have an issue. <laughs> Now, let me just re try replacing the airport in case I glitched it out when I did it originally. Okay, with no anarchy this time and just placing it. <gasps> yeah! Look, we got people! Okay, let me disconnect this road. Okay, that might have been it. I think I broke the airport when I moved it. Please c continue coming in. Okay, number's going up, so it means I didn't break it. Also, can we make this a bit more realistic and not have trees everywhere around the airport? We are probably going to need to uh, turn on unlimited money because we have since pretty much run out almost immediately but that means we should have planes somewhere right oh my god wait whoa, 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 hang on are we making money wait we might not need to do unlimited money <laughs> there's 200 people on the plane yes here we go all right so this i think is our first plane that is coming to land in the beautiful new city we should have yeah there's another one coming up behind we should have tree uh, trees we should have planes filled with people oh look at this yeah Oh wait, that person's like, ah, oh, screw this, I'm gonna drive around the other side. <laughs> These guys are like, nah, we're gonna walk. Oh, you just missed the train, sorry guys, it'll be another week before it comes back again. Train budget needs to go down as well, that's costing me a lot. And the road budget, screw that. Uh, let's try and save money where we can. And then taxes go up to 12%, because that's pretty much the max you can charge without everyone complaining. Okay, these guys are still making their way across- <laughs> There's gonna be like just planes and planes filled- oh my god. <laughs> okay, so they're all here at the train station waiting. We have, oh my god, 400 people. Whoa, crime is bad. Okay, fine, I'll get a get a cop shop in right there. Uh, in the meantime, we're gonna need some... Oh, we're gonna need to get a train over here. Do you reckon I can take out a loan? 200,000. Okay, yeah, we can probably do it. Let's try it. So these two guys will go here. Uh, so now what we want to do is let's build a bypass for this area because we're gonna need a track to go past for the cargo trains. Basically need to do about a 90 degree turn. So we got the rail that comes around here, goes across, and then it sort of just joins into these two. And then eventually, like I said, we'll probably take it back over that way. Okay, this is what I've done for the cargo station. We have this main road over here. The bridge goes one way across here. It goes past the passenger station because that'll probably be fine. Comes around the end, goes underneath, comes back up and around and goes here. So basically traffic going to the, the station is, you know, sort of split up where it goes this way and then comes back around. Although this might be better if we can get to join on the other side of the road, but whatever, that's probably fine for now. Trying to build up as much as I can so I can zone it all in. Now, obviously, I don't want to force all traffic to go back that way because if there's something over this way that they can get to, they should be able to. Okay, that's, I think, probably going to do. Uh, let me make sure I've got everything with water. And then we'll try and zone closer to this first. Now, I don't think I want to zone on that road, but I'm going to anyway. And then we're probably going to need to get- oh, we need a train line. Uh, so let's extend the train line that we have. Industry's moving in, which is great, because that's exactly what we need right now. So that should start getting us a lot more income as well. We've only got $16,000 wiggle room here to be able to afford it. Oh, here's the train. Anyone getting off? <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna wait for people to come over here and actually start doing stuff. Okay, we are now out of money. We are now consistently gonna be losing money. I might do low density commercial just because we clearly don't have the people to work in those ones. Yeah, so educated workers, we don't have any. So it might actually be beneficial to not have any of this. Yeah, this is not good. Um, <laughs> Alright, the city's on the brink. You know what? I don't think I've ever seen this alert in this game before. Ah, oh, that's better. Oh, look at this. No issues at all. So I'm just worried that this is going to flow around and come in this way. So I might actually move our poo dumping over to this island and actually use the cleaner one. We're getting ravaged by fires over here, so I think... 
I think it's really time to get a fire department. It seems to be like a legitimate issue that we actually have. Uh, oh, garbage! I completely forgot about garbage. Of course I left this all as one way. Whoops. That's not gonna work. Okay, that's better. That should work now. Um, okay, so garbage wise, let's just try recycling because it's a little cleaner, a little bit nicer. Power issues. Okay, power and garbage issues. Well, this is the industrial area, so let's burn garbage. No one cares. Burning power. Let's just go for coal power plant. Actually, we can't get any coal, so we're not producing coal and we can't import coal because we only have internal cargo lines. So that we maybe we should just go for a wind turbine and then just zone that up with high density residential to try and get a bunch more people in. Alrighty, there you go. Move in, boys. Oh, maybe we should start looking into education as well so we can actually, you know, get high density commercial too. Oh my god, look how hilly that is. Oh, we're getting dead people now. I forgot about that. This, see, this is what happens when you build with unlock all. You just forget parts of the game exist. And then let's start educating people too because they're real stupid. And then I might just increase the education budget so we can use less schools. Alright, let's get a few more commercial things. I'm just trying to figure out where I want to put them. I guess maybe up over this way, because it's a little further away from all the residential. Whoa! Okay, we need some police over here. It's really the separate services for each island that really do... Uh, they, they kill you. They, they really do. Um, so this... <laughs> this train station has, like, so much crime. If you go here, you're gonna get mugged. Like, no questions asked. You are just gonna be mugged. 100%. Bunch more people. Oh, sorry guys, you missed the train. It's gonna be another week. Wait, let's see. Where are we now? We're on the- okay. We, we, it was the second. It's now the third of the first. Let's see how long I have to wait for a train. There is crime and a dead person here too. Like that- there was probably someone shanked that was never, you know, removed. So we might need to sort that out. Come on guys, quick. You're gonna miss the train. Oh wait, no, no, no. They're going the other way. So it's not- oh, okay. It's even longer. Wait, when did I say they were here the second? It is now the 16th. It took f literally two weeks. For the train to come back around again. And you've missed the train. Sorry guys, it's gonna be a two week wait. <laughs> oh no, not enough goods to sell. Well, where are my cargo trains? Shouldn't they be existing now? Oh. Now give me cargo trains <laughs> that I connected it. Oops. We should get some cargo deliveries. Alright, we also need a quicker way for these people to get over there. That's so bad. There you go, guys. Oh, sorry, you just missed it. It was just built. You can now use the bridge to get over if you want. It's a lot quicker. Ooh, cargo train! Yay! 100% cargo! Sweet! Yep. A lot of goods issues over here, guys. I'm coming. I'm coming. I've got a train. There's a cargo train going the other way. Wow! I don't know what it's taking that way, but whatever. Wait. Why did you stop? Huh. That was weird. <laughs> Alright, let's pull it away a little bit. Maybe that'll... Help us out. Now we do have a crap connection. Let me just redo this. Oh yes, we're getting deliveries now. Good. That's, okay, there's more coming now. Alright, there should be more regular deliveries now, which is good. Alright, so we got this pretty much filled in. So let's zone the rest of this area. Why not? So that's going to start filling in. Uh, our poo is sort of coming out here a little bit. But what I'm thinking of doing, why don't we go and get like the water cleaner. Floating garbage collector. Lessons water pollution. A floating building must be placed on water. So if we get two of those at the outlet, that means hopefully most of the water coming out of here will actually be pretty clean. Which you can already see that it kind of is. Can I see the pollution better please? There we go. Yeah, you can see that it's actually cleaning new water that's coming out. I don't think it's 100% clean, but it's way more than that. So it'll be nicer. No more phallic poo! Alright, should we see if we can upgrade some people too? Let's see if we can get them some parks and that to be happier. What if we get a stadium out here? <laughs> it takes up like the whole island. We have some room here. What if I like flatten out land and put a stadium here? It's a little ugly. Uh, it's all good though. It's on. So hopefully we can uh, win some games. Let's do this. There you go. Now it looks like it's, you know, meant to be there and, <laughs> and built up like that. Sure, it might look better lower down, but that's where we're putting it. Oh no, it's this here. Oh no, here we go. Yeah! It just looked like there was no one here. Oh, garbage is piled up. That's not a good look for us. Uh, now what's our issue here? Not enough educated workers. Really? Oh, we're working on it. If we win this, this is going to be good. Come on, boys, bring it home. Bring home the gold. Uh, we might need more, and we might need another recycling center. Look at this place. Oh, we don't have a clinic. I'm trying to find a good spot for this. I'm going to use the big one because I think we do need quite a lot. Maybe we could get it near the stadium. We got we got a bit of space down here. Okay, hospital sits here now, apparently. Oh, here we go. Look, everyone's late. Did we win? I actually don't know. Did we? Ah, oh, we lost. If we had won, we would have got a lot of cash. Although we are getting plus 20,000, but I'm assuming that's because of the uh, the stadium there. Because that was our 
20,000 bonus for tickets and that. <laughs> Alright, so we've got a lot of uh, commercial demand. We are having issues still with educated workers though. Looks like we need maybe another high school. I'm going to build another high school over this end of the city. And we already have two elementary schools. But that is not enough. So I'll get another one, I guess, also over here by this high school. Let's also build some pathways. I feel like this place... Like, this one and the last time we did this, they, they've been so disconnected from themselves. Like, I just feel bad. They're, like, they can't walk anywhere. For such a, like, a beautiful, like, island environment. Which we've ruined by putting all these giant buildings on. There's not very much, many, many places you can actually walk on it. Oh, God! I have not been paying attention to this island. Oh... Not enough buyers for products. Hmm. We might need some offices now, because we still got a lot of demand. Yeah, they're having a lot of buying issues. Which means we probably need high density, uh, commercial, which would help out, obviously. Okay, so there's not much commercial demand now. So I'm gonna go back over here and I'm gonna see if I can build some offices now. Which is- because the offices go on our industrial island. Kinda just built the roads like this because it looked kinda cool. With it. So you had to like sort of drive down and around. Alright, so let's see if we can populate offices with people that are actually qualified. Because that's the other question, like can they actually- if we get offices, can people actually work there? Because we're still having issues with educated workers anyway. This is the- okay, I found the problem with multiple islands is I will completely miss an issue on one of the islands for a long time because I'm not seeing it. Now, what is this one? This guy has not enough raw materials. Well, that sounds like a you problem more than a me problem. You shouldn't have opened that business here if you couldn't get the raw materials. As long as we have buyers for products, that's all that matters. Come on, someone just build here. Just, just build this bit, because then we'll have power. Does that count? Is that close enough? Yeah, okay. Oh, and then someone built there. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so these guys are all hanging out here. Getting some good workers. So that, yeah, that's taking care of that demand. And it looks like we now have enough buyers for products, but the raw, raw resources, that's raw, raw resources. It's hard to say, apparently. Not really, but anyway. It doesn't seem like we can import it. Uh, I don't know what they actually want. Uh, but we don't have any oil and we- oh no, hang on, let me have a look over here. Resources, we don't have- well, we might be able to do some logging. Maybe that would help them out. Let's see if we can do that. Alright, so we're gonna fill this. Like that. So then that will start doing some logging. I don't know if we- hopefully there's enough trees, I guess. Uh, cause that's kind of the only raw resource we can get. At least as far as I'm aware, because there's no- we don't have any oil or- or- or. Wow, we have one person building here. Oh, here we go. We got a couple more now. Alright, so if this can actually start populating, then we can hopefully start sorting out some of those demands. Add some more connections. I want to put this thing in really badly. The castle of Lord Chirpwick. An impressive castle is what every signi- in Oh, no, I was gonna- I'm gonna say insignificant city needs, because it will make it significant. And the castle of Lord Chirpwick is exactly that. It has global entertainment value of 100, and it increases the attractiveness of all unique buildings by 25%. Damn. Alright, I'm gonna put it right here, because I think it's a good spot. Whoa, okay. That made everyone, like, immediately happy. Oh my god, it, like, it does a whole city. Dude, that's awesome. Hell yeah. And it looks pretty cool, except for that bit. <laughs> Alright, so that should make everyone happy. I think that means we can just get rid of the parks, can't we? Because they're just taking up space and I don't think we need them. And also it means people will want to visit this thing too, which is cool. I was thinking maybe we can just get some more like unique building stuff in here now. Like this thing. I don't know if we need it though. I guess we don't need it with this, because that kind of just does it. I guess because it's a monument thing. Oh, sweet. Yeah, people are piling into the stadium now. Here they all come. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, I wonder if we could get... Well, actually, let's zone some more stuff up here. Actually, let's get rid of all the commercial that we have. All the, like, low-density commercial and make it high-density. Oh. <laughs> I came back. Again, we've been struck by the, uh, didn't look at it, uh, everything's falling apart issue. Uh, let's get another power generator. up. There we go. Yeah, because they all ran out of power and then just all went out of business and were abandoned. My bad. Alright, so they should be good now. Uh, so we're still having not enough raw materials. I don't know, I don't know what kind of materials that they want. I, I'm hoping that this is, because this is technically just raw materials. So I was just hoping that they would deliver from these guys to like some of the businesses over here, but I don't know that that's happening. It doesn't actually really specify what raw materials are. I feel like it is these trucks with like, uh... Like, planks and that on them, because he's del he delivered here, so I think it probably is. 
I think for the most part we're okay. Just the budget's a little rough. Okay, so these should hopefully be staying in business now that they have power. Uh, we got our trains coming back and forth. That's got 100% cargo. We've got 90 people waiting here. Uh, we still have people flying into the city as well. I mean, okay, if I could click on it. 54 people on that plane. We've got uh, 34 on that plane. We're looking pretty good. This island is having garbage issues again, though. Oh, I guess we only have one recycling center. I thought I thought I put another one in, but I think I just turned up the budget. I'm in a spot that's a little away from everyone. There's not really anywhere I can actually place it. I mean, I guess I can put it here. I don't know if I'm ever going to build the the other rail connection. I don't think we need. Oh, what the? F oh, this is just disconnected because our business disappeared. Probably. You jerk. Made everyone lose power. See that kind of stuff like that. It's dangerous on islands because I don't see it because I'm all the way over here. Anyway, sorry about that, guys. Hopefully you're okay now. <laughs> That's, I guess, where I'm um, having the... Oh, see, I built this beautiful, like, one-way system here. But they all just come down this way and go up. Which, actually, it's fine. It's working fine. What is our traffic flow? 89%... Oh, 84%. 80%. Okay, well, it was 89% for, like, a second. Uh, I think my favorite part of this city... I think it's this. I think this is actually really cool. I, I actually really like this setup. I think it'd be cool to have another runway here or something. Oh, maybe, maybe that's the runway and that's the train station. So then you have like these runways split on different islands and that. In a proper city. Maybe not in a stupid city like this where, <laughs> where we're only connected by trains. Uh, but the cool thing is we have no import of anything. So we're producing everything here, albeit pretty... Wait, how do you... Oh. I guess you, because you're not a, you're not producing it. These guys are producing it. It's like, well, now they're having resource issues too. Whatever. Um, yeah, look, that's your own problem. Manage it. Uh, but this is going pretty well. I'm. Oh, we lost another game. Hmm. But we got a bit of money for it though, which is good. Uh, yeah, we. Uh, I guess we're doing okay. I might do offices on this side. Just fill that in. Get a bunch of offices. I mean, I wasn't gonna do it here, but also. I just kind of want to fill the island in, you know? Just get it get it looking pretty and then we're, I think we've I think we've proven the point that you can do it, but there's no way to do it without having like unlock all on to be able to get the train stations and the airports. Cuz if you can't get an airport, then you can't get people in. So, and it's well likewise even if you use the, the tourist harbor. If you can't get a tourist harbor, you can't get people in. So, you have to start off with unlock all. And then even with that, it's so expensive that even building up quickly I mean, we're still not making money. Even with all the budgets lowered. No loans. Taxes on 12%. It's all the public transport stuff. It's it's the boats and the planes. It's really what's costing us. Because it's the cargo delivery and, and the passenger train stations is so expensive. And the airport is so expensive. But there you go. I guess that's pro- Oh, we've run out of water. Or oh, they just don't have it. No, they just don't have it. I guess that's it, though. Um, This is the city with only train connections and no importing. Don't, I mean, yeah, we're definitely having the raw, raw resource issue. If we had, if we had like some ore or some uh, oil or something, that would probably help a lot. There's some stuff over here, but you know, we're only using these three islands, so it's not much we can do about that. But I think this looks pretty cool. I really, I, I really like this though. That's really cool. Anyway, if you have any other suggestions for other sort of ideas or challenges that we could try and do, let me know in the comments down below, and let me know if you tried this one out. And if you had better success than me of making money. <gasps> Wait, am I making money? Oh my god. I think we finally did it. <laughs> We're finally making money. Yeah, both of these I've not really made money till right near the end. Uh, well, I've lost money again. Uh, it's pretty hard just because of the, the stations. I reckon you could do it. I reckon some of you guys could do it. So let me know. But thanks for watching. I will see you next time. And have an awesome day.